Hi everyone, this is Tyler Sexton. Uh, I am here to give you the physiology of diving and hyperbaric medicine in conjunction with your hyperbaric medicine principles and practice course. Pleasure to be with you guys today. We have a lot of stuff to cover. Uh, we'll try to keep it interesting. Uh, but in this respect, and in this course, we are going to focus specifically on the effects of uh, hyperbaric oxygen and the delivery of such uh, to the body and why hyperbarics does what it does and why we see the effects of wound care and diving uh, components of uh, providing decompression sickness treatments and wound care treatments, why it works and why it does what it does. And so we're going to be focusing on some gas laws and the effects of gases on the body and what the body does in response to these. All right? So the effects of hyperbaric oxygen therapy. We're here to talk about a vast variety, a variety of things um, in terms of how hyperbaric works and why it works. All right, you're going to hear us talk about a lot of different things. A lot of this is going to be um, getting you into the basics components of why hyperbaric works, and then we will explore it more in depth with the different uh, physiological applications that hyperbaric medicine allows us to do. All right, so I'm just going to kind of go through a few to talk about. All right, so first we've got diffusion of inert gases from the bubbles. This is specifically due to uh, decompression sickness, for example. All right, what we're doing is we are crushing those bubbles. We are also allowing us, with high concentration of oxygen in the tissues, to off gas the nitrogen more effectively. All right, so we're able to. Um, remove the nitrogen from the body through the use of pressure and through the use of delivery of oxygen, which we'll talk about that when I give the decompression sickness um, and arterial gas embolism lecture with you guys.